This is gonna be a very challenging avatar, but very doable in Brookhaven. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make Orin from Sprunky in Brookhaven. I just absolutely love Sprunky. I love the Sprunky characters as well. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to make Orin from Sprunky. It is gonna be so much fun. So I gotta say goodbye to my avatar and accessories today. Let me go ahead and get rid of my hair, my crown, my chains, and we can now start getting started on this character. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We are gonna start off with the package. Now, Orin from Sprunky, what you're gonna be wanting to use is the Roblox boy package. This is how we're gonna start it off. And once we have that, we wanna go ahead and head over to the shirt section, and this is where things start to get interesting. So type in Orin Sprunky, and this amazing group has actually made an Orin Sprunky, and this is very, very necessary for later, and I'll explain why. Later, we're gonna have to combine the colors and everything, and they did a perfect job of making the Orin Sprunky shirt from Sprunky, and this is gonna be absolutely great. Great. I cannot wait. Guys, can we aim for one like on this video? Like the video if you guys like Sprunky. And if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe down below. Can we aim for one new subscriber today? And as well, go over to the pants section and we are going to type in Orin Sprunky right there. And they have a matching pants to go with it. And this is already starting to look so great. We need to also customize the skin tone. Now, this is every skin tone you can actually do in Roblox. And basically, you're just going to want to choose the one that is closest to Orin Sprunky because we can't can't get it exactly perfect, but that's actually not a big deal because you will see later why this is not a big deal. So we're going to go ahead and change it to around this orange. I think this is probably the best one we can do. And I'm going to go over and just straight up get rid of the face. So now we have a blank character. So this is where things are going to start getting interesting. This is where we start getting into the accessories and the animation packages. This is very important. So listen up, everyone. This is going to be awesome. I cannot wait to show you this completed character here in Brookhaven. Okay, so moving on here, let's go ahead and get the animation package. And this is necessary because Sprunky characters, they don't really have hands. They don't really have arms or legs. Now I've experimented around by making the best Sprunky character, which looks kind of natural in Roblox. I've tried adding different packages to hide the legs, hide the arms, but the best way is just to kind of keep them, but kind of remove their features. And I'll tell you what I mean. So the one one I like to use for Sprunky characters is either the vampire animation or the wizard animation is also good, but my favorite of all time is definitely the levitation animation because it basically removes the function of the legs. Since Sprunky characters don't really have legs, you kind of want to remove that function. So let's go ahead and just add the levitation animation to every single option here so that we have a floating character. We just want to remove the options from the legs here. So there we go. Scroll down here and boom. Now we have the complete levitation animation on Orin from Sprunky. And we're about to get into the greatest part, which is going to be over here. So we're going to go to accessories and we're going to type in Orin Sprunky. So let me go ahead and type in Orin Sprunky. And we have two very notable accessories to get. First one is going to be this face. As you can see, the face blends in absolutely well and it just looks really, really good. And oh, they actually recently added this. They add the headphones with the antennas, which didn't exist before. Before it was only the antennas, but now we have the headphones and antennas. And once you've done that, guys, we have Orin from Sprunky. So guys, let me know how I did. Drop a like and subscribe and let me know who else I should make in Brookhaven. I know how to create a perfect gray from Sprunky in Brookhaven. So that is what we're going to do. We are going to create a perfect gray from Sprunky in Brookhaven. This is going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to go over to the avatar editor in Brookhaven. We're going to go over to our accessories that we have on. Let's just take them all off there. Next up on our list, we are going to choose the perfect package. So for what I like to do, I like to use the Roblox boy package for Sprunky characters. Unless they're a girl, we'll use the Roblox girl package. But for Gray, we're going to use the Roblox boy package. So this is what we're going to start off with. I think this looks pretty good. This will be a good basis for the account. Now, we are obviously going to change this a little bit later. We're going to do a little bit of customization to match the Spunky character. And for avatar size, it really doesn't matter because Sprunky characters, they really, really don't have like a specific size, but we're going to create it for one for now. And next up on our list, we're going to get started with the shirts and everything like that and the skin tone. Guys, can we aim for one like on this video? And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Can we aim for one new subscriber today? That would be absolutely epic. So let's get into this. So for the shirts, really don't need a lot, but we're going to actually search for gray Sprunky and make sure to type it right. Gray Sprunky here. And we're going to use this one. This one's really good because it actually has the little like
like fur indention here. And this actually goes really, really good for later on because of the skin tone. Because I don't know if you guys know, but skin tone in Roblox kind of matters when it comes to Roblox accounts. And next up on our list, we need the pants. So for the pants, we're just going to try pure gray because there really isn't a pure spunky pants item that we actually need. So we're just going to type pure gray and we're going to find the one that matches up the next best with the shirt. So as you can see right here, this matches up pretty good. We can go a little bit darker. We can go a little bit lighter, but I think the first one or at least on the second on the list actually matches up with what we need pretty good. So we're going to change the skin tone to match with gray from Sprunky. So you could kind of go with a, a multitude of different ones. I'm going to go with this one for now because it matches up pretty good. And we're about to look for some accessories and for some animation packages. The thing is, is that the animation packages for this account actually goes really, really good. The avatar items for gray from Sprunky are amazing. We're about to look for them. The thing is in Roblox, nothing is ever perfect you can obviously make them a little bit more perfect if you actually customize your own avatar in the robux editor you can spend some robux on things but for the sake of the video we are going to spend zero robux we are just going to use this brookhaven avatar to make the perfect great from sprunky all right so next up on our list we're going to go ahead and choose an animation package so an animation package is very very important to make sure we symbolize the actual character from sprunky so in sprunky they don't really have legs they don't really have arms so we want to symbolize that so what we're going to do is actually use the levitation animation package so you want to scroll down here to this like uh i don't know what you would call it like a ninja kind of animation or something like that but we're basically going to use this animation package for everything this basically just cancels out the reasoning for legs and arms in roblox and this is basically why we need this as a sprunky animation for a sprunky character i mean look my bro is just absolutely floating here he has arms he has the legs but when you walk around he doesn't really use them so i'm walking around i mean look at this bro he's not using his legs he's not using his arms he's absolutely just chilling bro like i don't know about you but this is such a chill avatar and this is when it gets absolutely great so i have a super expensive face on my robux avatar i mean this face is worth like hundreds of thousands of robux but we're getting rid of it oh my goodness it's so sad but there we go we have an absolute blank face here but it's okay because next we're going to the accessories and we're searching for the right one so let's go ahead and search for drunky gray and there we go we get a really good face right here and if we scroll down just a little bit we get the ears for it now there's two ways we could do this we could take off the face we could take off the ears and we could go with this one as well so there's two different ways you want to go it depends on how you like your sprunky gray to look but i really like this one so if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like on the video subscribe down below and let me know what sprunky character i should make next in brookhaven today i'm teaching you how to make a tunner from sprunky the easiest and fastest way here in brookhaven all right so we're gonna start it off here as we usually do we're gonna go over here to the brookhaven avatar editor we all know and love this place and we're just gonna take off all of the accessories now next up on our list we are gonna go ahead and start customizing the package so there's multiple options you can actually choose for a sprunky character but lately what i've been using is the roblox boy package and i'll explain that a little bit later but guys this is where it starts to get a lot of fun and the tunner from sprunky character really starts coming together so guys can we get one like on the video for tunner from sprunky and if you guys are new make sure to subscribe it down below can we get one new subscriber today all right so for the skin tone of tunner from sprunky you're gonna want to kind of scroll down and go to around here i would say this is probably the skin tone that he's using and next up on our list you want to head over to the shirts and we're gonna actually type in tunner right here so you want to get this specific one because otherwise it's not going to work well and as well go to the pants section search tunner right here and boom we are going to use those pants now i was hoping to find sort of a pure color that we could use for the shirt and pants rather than getting a specific tunner one but the specific tunner one will work great and i just noticed guys we might have to customize the skin tone just a little bit more so it's it's kind of like around this skin tone i would say it's one of these maybe this one's most accurate to the shirt that we just bought so that is pretty good there now we want to get rid of the face right here i'm gonna go ahead and put on a face and then just take it off and bam we now have a faceless character here in brookhaven and guys hold on to your horses okay this is where things start getting interesting i'm not even joking so we want to customize the sprunky character to actually make sense because here in brookhaven you know we're walking around and sprunky characters they don't really have arms they don't really have hands they don't really even have legs either so you kind of just want to remove the function there 
are ways to remove arms and legs from Roblox, but it makes the character just look kind of funny. So what I like to do is actually use the levitation animation for this. So to use the levitation animation, just go over here and then click on the idle one right there and then click on this ninja looking guy. I don't know why they have this type of guy for the picture for the levitation animation. It'd be nice if you could actually see like something floating. But anyways, that's the one that's the levitation animation. So we're just going to make everything the levitation animation. So what this does is actually removes the function of the arms and legs. I think this looks pretty good so far. So this is where it's all really going to come together. So drop a like and subscribe for this. This is going to be absolutely epic. And guys, once we finish this character, make sure to let me know what other Sprunky characters we should create here in Brookhaven and make sure to go ahead and check out my other Sprunky characters. So what we need to do is go over here to accessories and we are going to type in Tunner right there. And here we go. We have two accessories right up at the start. So we have the face and then we have the hair here because his hair kind of hangs down from the hat. And if you want to go the extra route, you can find a brown top hat that would really, really fit because he has, kind of has like a brown hat sort of like this. Uh, you could pick whichever one you guys think is the best. I'm going to go with this one, but there we go. We now have a complete Tunner Sprunky character here in Brookhaven. So let me know how I did. Let me know who I should make next. Uh, see you guys later. Peace. So we're going to be making Wenda in Brookhaven here. And since this is Brookhaven, we don't need any Robux at all. Yeah, I know I have a very expensive, super, super happy face, but don't worry. It's uh, going away. So let's start off here in the Brookhaven editor, as we all know and love, and just remove every single accessory that you have. So you guys, I told you I'm saying goodbye to the very expensive, super, super happy face. Next on our list, click that little red guy in the top right, and we're going to get a package. So I'm going to go with the Roblox uh, girl package. So let me find this here. The Roblox girl package. Is it? Is it here? Is it this one? I think it's that one. I, I think that it's that one or, or one of those. I always get confused. But it doesn't really matter that much. The Roblox boy package will work. But we're going to use the Roblox girl package for this. Now to make a window, we are going to go ahead and head over here. And this is where things start to get pretty interesting. If you guys like Sprunky, can we aim for one like on this video? And if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe down below. Can we get one new subscriber today? All right, guys. So to make a window from Sprunky, let's go ahead and go to the shirts and we are just going to go for a pure shirt basically meaning the texture is entirely white and there's no other colors on it so let me just make sure they didn't slip anything on the shirt so it's just pure white and it does look pure white so we can move on and go to the pants here and we are going to type in pure white as well and there we go we have a perfectly matching thing now obviously the skin tone is not matching up properly right now so you, again you want to click that little red guy in the top right and we're going to go to skin tone and we have to make it pure white and there we go we now have a pure white character and for Wenda from Spunky we are going to get rid of the face I know we could go with a face like this but we're going to uncheck it and now we are a faceless character so guys pay attention this is where things get a little more complicated but it's not too difficult if you just follow along so we need to do some things before we get the final accessory which is going to be the head packages now the head accessories that we're going to be getting they are the Wenda accessories but we're getting into that very very soon we need to do something before that and that is the animation. So you want to click the little blue guy on the top right, and we are going to go with the levitation animation. And let me explain to you guys real quick why I like the levitation animation while I'm putting it, putting it onto the character. It's because Sprunky characters, they don't really use arms or legs. You can't even see if they have legs or arms. They're basically a floating character. So what I like to do is that the levitation animation, because uh, if you look kind of like this, the waist up, it kind of looks like a Sprunky character, and it removes the function of your arms and legs. So you're basically a floating Sprunky character. Now, there are actual ways to remove your legs and arms from your Roblox character, but that requires some Robux, and it doesn't really look that good. To be honest, it's better to have a more normal-looking Roblox character that resembles Wenda. All right, so we are about to get into the final bit. We've been hopping around, basically floating around, so it is now time to find the Wenda accessory. So go over to the top left where it says the search icon, and this is going to search for all the different accessories that you can get. So we're going to type in Wenda right here and there we go we get so many different options and you can choose whichever one you like best there's this one there's even the evil one right here which looks pretty good but it doesn't quite match with our head and we would need a headless head to make sure it full 
holy matches. And there's even ones like this, this really cartoony looking one. And there's even some other ones. But I think this one right here is my favorite overall. So there we go. We have Wenda from Sprunky. So guys, put your rating down in the comments how I did. And let me know who else from Sprunky I should make. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. I cannot wait to show you guys what we're going to be doing today. Sky from Sprunky. That is the next character we are going to be creating here in Brookhaven today. So we're not going to waste any time. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. So let's go over here to the Brookhaven avatar editor. And we're going to click the little red guy here. And now we have to remove my accessories. Oh my goodness. I got to say goodbye to my beautiful purple crown. Okay. So next up on our list, we are going to have to change the body type of the character. So click off, click back on the red guy, and now we can do the body type. So for the one for Sky today, we are going to start off with the Roblox boy package. That should work out pretty well. So guys, if you're a fan of Sprunky, can we hit one like on this video? And if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Can we get one new subscriber today? Okay, so now that we have that, we have to take off the face. I know, I got to say goodbye to my really expensive, over 150,000 super, super happy face, but uh, it has to be done. So Sky from Sprunky, he's actually kind of like a Sky blue i mean obviously his name is sky so it resembles sky blue but i ran into a little bit of a problem earlier when i tried to find a pure sky blue shirt but no worries your boy zeph is here i know how to get around it so what we're gonna go ahead and do is go over here to the search section okay i i, I was like trying to combine two words at once and it just came out weird but we're going to the shirt section here and we're just gonna go there and we're gonna type in pure cyan okay so cyan's kind of like another word for sky blue here and there is this sort of cyan shirt right here but i don't really like it we're kind of just gonna use this one instead because it's a better cyan blue and then we're gonna go over here to pants and we're gonna type in pure cyan right there and we're gonna get the matching pants to go with it so now we have that we have to go ahead and go to the little red guy over here on the right again and we're gonna have to customize the skin tone and we're gonna have to get it as close to the cyan colored shirt and pants that we bought and i'm, I'm thinking that looks pretty good guys i don't think we're gonna get closer than that if you can find like a pure cyan shirt that covers all the way to down the sleeves it would look a little bit better but uh, we're not gonna waste time trying to find it you guys can definitely do it but if we're using zero robux today which is the spirit of brookhaven then that is what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing it just like that so this is where things get a little bit more fun where we start finding some of the animation packages and accessories for this sprunky character i always enjoy this part so let's go ahead and go here and what we're gonna actually do is remove the function of the arms and legs from this sprunky character and the reason for that is because sprunky characters don't have arms and legs that's pretty obvious they're just kind of like a floating torso with the head so what i like to do in roblox is use the levitation animation it's just right over here you go to this little blue guy you go to the first one the idle animation and you go to each animation and you go to this little ninja guy here and uh, basically he's going to be floating here so so basically the reason I like this animation package is because it removes the function of the arms and legs. Now there are packages in Roblox where you can actually remove the arms and legs, but it's not completely. And it looks kind of weird for a Sprunky character. Maybe it works better for the more horror Sprunky characters, but for the regular Sprunky characters today, this is how I like to do it. And trust me guys, it looks great like this. And so finally, we are going over here to accessories and we need the final thing. So we're actually going to type in Brunky sky type it exactly like that press enter here or tap on it if you're on mobile and there's a few options we can actually pick here so we get this one all in one and then we also get just the this we just get the head here or i guess the i guess the hat accessory which is the ears and the hair but we are not going to do that one today we are going to go with the all in one package because that's just great and so once we put that on boom now we have sky from sprunky so guys let me know how i did down in the comments put your rating out of 10 drop a like let me know who else i should make from sprunky thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later peace today's one is gonna be such an exciting one fun bot from sprunky one of my favorite characters in sprunky we are gonna be making a perfect replica in brookhaven i have figured out the formula to make a perfect fun bot from sprunky 
We're using zero Robux today. This is gonna be absolutely epic. So first things first, we gotta click on our little character. Remove any accessories that you might have on. Once you have all your accessories off, click on the little red guy in the corner, and now we need a package. We usually go for the Roblox boy package for Sprunky characters, but we're gonna switch it up today and go Robloxian 2.0, just because it's a little bit more robot-y. This is where things start to get a little fun. So guys, can we aim for one like on this video? And if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Can we get one? new subscriber today that's all i'm asking all right so now that we've done that we got to do a little bit of customization so we're gonna go ahead and click the shirts icon here and then go over to the search section and search for funbot brunky and someone has made us a perfect shirt here with transparency and there's a reason why i say with transparency so with transparency means that we can actually customize this gun color exactly how we want to match funbot from Sprunky. So I really like when Roblox art creators create pieces like this so that we can actually make it perfect. And guys, I just realized I used the Cool Kid Make Awesome package. We're gonna have to fix that real quick. Let me go ahead and change that to the Robloxian 2.0. There we go. Now we don't have that annoying hood on the back. So now we have the Robloxian 2.0. That should be pretty good. But guys, unfortunately, our luck kind of runs out there with the transparency because we have to type in Sprunky Funbot in the pants section and unfortunately, we have to use pants that are not transparent, but it's okay. It's okay, guys. If we go over here to the color customization by clicking the red guy and go here, we can get a pretty good gray. Like, I would say that gray is pretty consistent throughout the entire character. You can kind of choose either one, but this one right here, I would say, looks the best. So let's line up our guy right there. Now that we have that, we have to take off the face. I have to say goodbye to my really expensive, super, super happy face, but it's all good. There we go there. Now, I wish Brookhaven would give us a little bit more customization options for the avatar like it does in the Roblox avatar editor, but you can go ahead and do that for yourself. You can make the size all the way down. You can make it up. It really doesn't matter. You know what? What? If, how about we be tiny today? That would be pretty interesting. All right, so next up on our list, we are going to get an animation package. Now, typically for Sprunky characters, I like to remove the use of the arms and legs. So if I go over here and use the levitation animation, basically when I walk around, I won't be using any of my legs. I won't be using any of my arms. They're pretty much frozen because Sprunky characters typically do not have legs or arms. Well, we're actually going to do it a little bit different today. What I'm actually going to do today is use the robot animation. So we're going to switch everyone to the robot animation. I'm pretty sure you guys can guess why. That is because it is Funbot. He is obviously a robot and it just looks cool running around. I mean, come on. Now we're about to get into the final part, which is going to be a lot of fun. Now, obviously there are ways to get rid of arms and legs in Roblox if you really just want a floating torso with the head of your choice is in this case Funbot but we're not going to do that because it just looks weird you kind of want your character to look like a Roblox character but also like a Sprunky character at the same time because if you get rid of the legs and arms it really looks illegal it looks absolutely insane so for the last up on our list we are going to go over here to accessories in the top left and we are going to type in Funbot Sprunky and there's a few options here there actually is a few options here so we have this option right here which is my favorite but if you actually type in funbot you actually get just like the eyes here you get just the eyes and a little bit of the face i do believe there is an option there but in my opinion if you just type in funbot sprunky you get this fun guys so guys let me know how i did let me know who i should make next from sprunky thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later peace how to make devin from sprunky in brookhaven this is gonna be absolutely epic you're not gonna want to miss what i have in store for today all right so getting started here in brookhaven we are gonna go to the avatar editor and just remove every single accessory that you have on your character once you've gone ahead and done that make sure to go over to the red guy here click that little red guy in the corner and choose the package you're gonna be using today Day. And we're going to be using the Roblox boy package for this Jevin character. I think it just looks really good for Sprunky characters. And before we move on to some of the shirts and all that good stuff, we are going to go over here to the faces and just put on any face and then remove it so that we have a faceless character. All right, this is where things start to get really interesting. So buckle up. It's going to be great. But guys, can we aim for one like on this video? Just one new like. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Can we just aim for one new subscriber? 
over today, that would be absolutely awesome. All right, so click up on the clothes icon here and we're gonna go ahead and go to shirts and we're actually gonna type in Jevin Brunke. Usually we try to go for like a transparent shirt on these Brunke characters. Brunke Jevin, he's a little different from the others. He kind of wears a robe from top to bottom. So we are gonna need this shirt right here, the first one. As we can see, we have the bit of the robe at the top of the shirt and then the blue at the bottom. And whoever made this shirt is an absolute legend because it actually matches with the rest of the character. But we're gonna get into that a little bit later. We are gonna go over here to pants. Go ahead and search for pure blue. We basically just want some blue pants right here and we want ones that match up with the shirt. So right here, we have the Jevin Sprunky shirt with the bit of the robe and then we have pure blue pants. This is looking absolutely epic. Once again, click on the little red guy in the avatar editor here in Brookhaven and we have to match the skin tone to the Jevin character. So there we go. We want to go with this blue right here, the one I'm clicking on because it matches with the rest of the outfit. And this is already starting to look great. Now, something about Sprunky characters to note is that they don't really use their arms and legs. There are some characters that have some different functions, but for a lot of the basic functions of the basic Sprunky characters, they don't use their arms and legs. So we're going to have to change that real quick here in Brookhaven. So to change that, go ahead and go back to the editor, click on the little blue guy. And what we want to do is use use the levitation animation. So to do that, just go on each little character here for their animation style and click on the little ninja guy here at the bottom or the little rural magician guy. I don't really know what he is exactly, but we're going to go to each one and we are just going to put that on. So once we get the last one, check it out, guys. Now we don't even use our arms and legs. The legs are just kind of back. The arms are kind of suspended on the side and they don't really move. So this is really good for Sprunky characters and you can remove the arms and legs from Roblox characters with different packages, but that would require Roblox and honestly, Honestly, in my opinion, it doesn't really look that good. So I think this is the best way to create kind of like a default Brunky character. So guys, we're about to get the final item, but could you guys help me out here? Could you use star code Zephplays, Z-E-P-H-P-L-A-Y-Z when buying Robux or Premium? I'd really appreciate that when you're on Roblox or on the app and you're buying Robux or Premium, it'll say, do you want to add a star code? Make sure to add the star code right there, Z-E-P-H-P-L-A-Y-Z. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And let's get into the final item. So back here in the avatar editor, go over here to the top left with the hat and everything the accessories and we are going to type in sprunky jevin type it exactly like that and if we look right here there is a head okay so this head is basically just the face but if we look a little bit down we get all of it all in one so you can make it with the face and get your own hood but in my opinion this looks way better so guys this is jevin from sprunky let me know how i did let me know who i should make next thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later peace how to make a garnold from sprunky in Brookhaven. This is going to be such a fun one. I really have been enjoying creating Sprunky characters here in Brookhaven lately, and this is probably going to be one of my favorite. All right, so head over to the Brookhaven avatar editor. Click on your little guy with the X and remove all of the accessories from the character. Now that we've done that, head over to the little red guy in the top right, and you're going to use the package that you want. Now, I'm going to use Robloxian boy package here just for fun, but you can also use the Roblox 2.0 package here because it's a little bit more robot-y like Garnold is, but I don't know why, but for Sprunky characters, the Robloxian boy package just looks a little bit better. So guys, we are about to get into the nitty gritty of it and find the shirts and accessories that are gonna go on this Garnold character. Can we get one like on this video? Just one new like. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Can we get one new subscriber today? Okay, so head over to the shirts and pants section and we are first gonna go to the search section now we are gonna type in pure gold now this is a little bit weird because it's kind of hard to find a pure gold shirt because it kind of recognizes that you want a gold texture or gold bar shirt so we're actually gonna switch it up a little bit because Garnold from Sprunky is officially a gold color but to find that here in Brookhaven it's a little bit difficult to find that gold texture so we're just gonna type in pure yellow here we're gonna go for more of like a yellow vibe we could go with this this is actually more of a gold vibe so we're gonna go with that one it's on the second row here and we're gonna do the second one here for the pants as well we are gonna go to pure yellow here search for that and we're gonna get the matching pants and that is looking really good guys i don't know about you but that looks a little bit more gold to me than yellow which garnold is officially named gold or 
Garnold. So this is going to be absolutely fantastic. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and click on the little red guy here. Go to the skin tone and we got to find a gold skin tone. So it's going to be somewhere around here. It's kind of orangey, kind of yellowish. But I just realized I don't know if they have every single skin color that you can actually do in the Roblox avatar editor. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is possibly change that. So I'm here in the Roblox avatar editor and we are going to click this color for for the gold. So now that we have that, we are going to head back into Roblox Brookhaven, do everything again real quick. I'm not going to show that. And then we're going to continue on. Okay. So there we go. I probably should have started off the video by telling you to change your skin tone in the Roblox avatar editor, but we did it anyways. It only took me two seconds to get back to where we were. So there we go. Now we have the gold skin tone on the Sprunky Garnold character. And this is looking good. We got the pure yellow shirt and pants which they're actually more gold looking and then we got the gold skin tone to sum it up so now what we're gonna do is go over here to faces and we're just gonna click any face and take it off the current face so now that we have a blank character so guys it's about to get a really really cool we are gonna get into the accessories portion of the video which is always my favorite and we're gonna start off with an animation package now usually for sprunky characters I like using the levitation animation right here because it suspends the use of the arms or legs but we're actually not going to use that today we are actually going to be using the robot animation because if you're in Sprunky and you're using the Garnold character he's more like a robot sounding so I would only assume that if he was in Roblox he would have the robot animation as I am showing here today so guys I have a little bit of a surprise for you it gets great so to make Sprunky characters sometimes you got to combine multiple accessories like the face the hat accessory and maybe even the hair accessory but today, we actually have a complete all-in-one accessory, which I absolutely love. So let's go ahead and type in Garnold Brunky here in the accessories by clicking this. And then we're going to press enter. And there we go. We actually have the completed Sprunky Garnold character head right here. So there we go. We have now created it. Put your rating down in the comments out of 10 how I did. Drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let me know who else from Sprunky I should make next. How to make Mr. Fun Computer from Sprunky. This is our most challenging video yet. We are going to be doing this entirely in Brookhaven with zero Roblox. This is literally going to be insane. I cannot wait to show you guys. So I have exactly found out how to make Mr. Fun Computer from Sprunky in Brookhaven. Let's go ahead and get right into it. And the reason this is so challenging is because he's not a traditional Sprunky character. He's basically a computer monitor on a desk. So to start out, take off all of the accessories off of your character. And next up on our list, click the little red guy in the top right corner and basically you are going to choose your package. It really doesn't matter which package you use because it kind of limits us the packages we can actually use. Um, I think I might go Robloxian 2.0 today for this. Okay, so next up on our list is going to be a little tricky. So basically go to the shirt section here and we are going to go ahead and type in it black. So we just want a perfectly black t-shirt right here and we're going to do the same thing for the pants. So just type in pure black pants right there and boom right there. Now that we have that, go back to click the little red guy in the top right hand corner and we're going to make the skin tone black. We basically just want to hide absolutely everything on the avatar. So now that we got that done, we are about to move on to some of the more interesting things of the character, like the accessories and things of that nature. So if you guys are ready for this, drop a like. Can we get one new like? And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Can we get one new subscriber today? All right. So this is a tricky character, as I said, because he's literally a computer monitor on a desk. But I found out how we're going to do that today. Today, it's going to be absolutely epic. So first up on our list, go ahead and go to the little blue guy in the top right hand corner. And we're going to go and put on the levitation animation here. We basically want to suspend the use of the arms and legs and kind of hide them. And you guys are going to see how we're going to actually hide the arm and legs a little bit later. So let's go through. Let's go through to each little one right here. There we go. Okay, there and there. So now that we have that done, go over to the top left section of the accessories and let's go ahead and type in desk. I know that sounds crazy crazy but there's multiple different options of where we can actually find a desk and it seems like they don't present every option as the roblox catalog 
but that is perfectly fine. The best one on our list is going to be this one. As you can see right here, this looks so funny. And why is there a little blue right here? Okay, I don't know if that's a glitch or maybe the shirt I bought, but that's a little weird. Let's go ahead and fix that, guys. I'm gonna go back to the shirts and type in pure black. It looks like it really wasn't a pure black shirt. They absolutely trolled us right there. And is it fixed? It is fixed. There we go. So now what we are is we are a desk right here and we are the animation package. So you're probably wondering, okay, where the heck is Mr. Fun Computer? Well, that's about to come. So go over here to the little red guy, go to the faces and put on any face, take it off the character. And now we just have a blank character. I mean, we haven't unlocked him yet, guys. <laughs> and we have a desk. And so what we're gonna go ahead and do here is go to the top left on the accessories and we're gonna type in Sprunky Computer. I think that's the one you wanna search for. And we do get some options here, but you wanna go down to the fourth row and click the middle one. And there we go. We actually have Mr. Fun Computer from Sprunky. And you could change the skin tone. You could may maybe make it gray so that it looks like it's part of the computer. Or maybe you could even make it like the same color as the desk. And that would also work as well. So guys, let me know how I did. Put your rating down in the comments. Let me know who else from Sprunky I should make next. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. One of the most popular characters in Sprunky, Simon from Sprunky, we are going to be creating today in Brookhaven. This is going to be a lot of fun. And it's actually quite quite simple to create, but make sure to listen up because there's some key things we have to do to this avatar to make sure it looks exactly like Simon from Sprunky. Okay, so to start off with this character, go ahead and click the avatar editor or the Brookhaven editor here, and we are going to remove all of our accessories. I have to say goodbye to all my beautiful hairs and hats. And next up on our list, click the little red guy in the top right, and we are going to choose a character package for Simon from Sprunky. I'm going to choose the Roblox boy package for this for today. Now you can select a different one like the Robloxian 2.0 or the superhero one, but let's be real. The Roblox boy for Sprunky characters just looks the absolute best. And now that we have this on our character, go ahead and go to the face here, click on a face, take it off. And now we have a blank face on our character. We're getting ready for Halloween. That is pretty spooky. All right. So this is where things start to get a little more interesting here on the character. So if you guys are ready for this, make sure to drop a like. Can we aim for one new like on this video? And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Can we get one new subscriber today? All right. So now that we've gotten that established, we got to go ahead and do some things to the character. So we're going to go to skin tone here and we are going to do a nice bright yellow skin tone for Simon because I don't know if you guys know, but Simon is also called yellow. So we're going to refer to him as yellow or Simon. So we're just going to use a bright yellow here. Now go over here to the shirt section, click on the shirt on the right here, and we are going to type in pure yellow. The reason we type in pure yellow is that we can get a basically perfectly yellow shirt that matches with the bright yellow skin tone here in Roblox. So let's go ahead and go to the pants and we're basically just going to do the exact same thing. Type in pure yellow, get the one that matches up. And now we have a perfectly yellow character. This is where things start to get super interesting for the Simon Sprunky character. I cannot wait to show you guys, but we have to do a few things before we get some of the accessories. So we have to go ahead and go to the editor here and we have to put on an animation package. And the reason for that is, is because the Sprunky characters, they don't have arms and legs. So what we want to do is basically get rid of the arms and legs. And to do that, we want to go to the animation package here. It's just this one at the blue character and you click the little ninja looking character here. Um, um, or the villager character, or the sorcerer character. I'm not really sure what exactly that image is, but it is the levitation animation right there. And as you can see now, we have basically suspended the use of using arms and legs. And this is basically like a Sprunky character because in the game, Sprunky, they don't use their arms or legs whatsoever. All right, so now that we have that, we can move on to one of the final things of this character and it's gonna be absolutely hype. So drop a like and subscribe for this. This is gonna be epic. So click on the little avatar editor again, go to the top left here and we are are going to type in Simon Sprunky. And we're hoping we get lucky today. And as you can see right here, there is a face right here. And there's even the little hair and antennas to go with it. But we're not actually using that one. Because if we keep scrolling, there is one that has it all in one. Oh, wait, what is this? This is like a little shoulder pal. You know what? We'll use the shoulder pal for today as well. But we're going to put on this hat right there. And there we go. Now we have a perfect Simon Sprunky character here in Brookhaven. So put your rating down in the comments out of 10 how I did. Let me know what other Sprunky characters I should make. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a nice day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.
It's about to get a little bit terrifying in Brookhaven today. How to make Dark from Sprunky, or otherwise known as Black. This is gonna be such a fun character to make in Brookhaven. I believe this is my first horror character that we're actually creating today, so this is gonna be a very special one. So we're gonna start it off by going to the Brookhaven editor and clicking on the little red guy because we have to get rid of the accessories. So click on your character, click on the accessories, and just get rid of everything here. And next up on our list, we are gonna have to change the package of the character so click on the red guy again and we are gonna go with the roblox boy package today i just feel like this is a really good package to go for this character this sprunky character in specific and you guys are gonna see a little bit later on so before we get into the shirts and pants of everything we got to do a little bit more so i just want to make the character pitch dark right here as you can see and next up on our list go to the face section and just click any face and then just take it off the character all right so so now that we have that, we can start getting into the nitty gritty of the account and really make it look like Dark from Sprunky. And this is going to be absolutely epic. So guys, can we aim for one like on the video? That would be absolutely amazing. Just one new like. And if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe down below. Can we get one new subscriber today? All right. So now that we've done that, you want to click on the shirts and pants section here in the top right. And we want to go ahead and click shirts. And let's go ahead and go to search. And we are going to type in pure black. And we just want a perfectly pitch black shirt here as you you can see and we're gonna do the exact same thing for the pants so we click the pants let's go ahead and click this and we're gonna search for pitch black as well and just do the same exact thing and I actually believed I spelled that wrong but it didn't matter because we still got the result that we wanted here so now that we have this we have a perfectly pitch black account and look at that they griefed us guys they tried to add a little bit of a little sliver here of blue so we have to change that so make sure they don't try to to glitch you here to they don't try to grief you here we got to find a pure black shirt here there we go now we have it we're good to move on so now that we have that we can move on to the next bit of the account and this is where where things start to get interesting i'm very excited for this so what we got to do is put on an animation package and i don't know if you guys know but basically sprunky characters they don't use their arms they don't use their legs so to get rid of the arms and legs properly is we want to use the levitation animation by clicking this ninja guy so i'm just going to go to each action here and go ahead and put on this levitation animation here and let's go ahead and search and there we go boom and we now have the levitation animation as you can see it doesn't use its arms it doesn't use its legs and this is perfect for a sprunky character character now guys for the last final accessory for this character you can go over here and type in sprunky black but there's a little bit of a problem with this because this face right here is the non-canon version or the top hat one is the non-canon version of sprunky black we are going for the very horror one and so that is what we are going to look for today here you can go with the non-canon version but we want the horror version so we're going to type in horror and we're just going to choose whichever one we really want because there's there's so many crazy ones. This one looks really good for it. Even just the one eye looks really good for it. There's this one I used earlier that looks really good, but I cannot find it right now. But you basically just want a pitch black face with a creepy face. Like, look at this. That looks insane, guys. So I think we created a W black from Sprunky here in Brookhaven. Let me know how I did. Let me know who I should make next. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a nice day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.